It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition. And we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter. So we're up and running. Forward it goes. Zayak. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Hakimi opts to play it back, goes for goal! Great effort, beautifully taken. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. get it forward quickly and he's cut it out Hakimi Buffal Zayak <laughs> managed to get it away with Zayak He's there to receive it. Morocco get it back again. Zayak. Zayak. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Gets it back. Played in by Zayek. Cleared away. That right side seems to have become a very good outlet for them now. No doubt this is an area they've identified as a potential weakness in their opposition and they're willing to exploit it. Well, the defence have two choices, deal with the man or, or deal with the space. Foul, free kick's been given. And he's got his range rob there. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? He's gone out for a throw in. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Hoists it forward. He's got options out wide. Zayak, he gets past his man. He slid it through. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. And it's played forward. That intervention was very necessary. Forward it goes. That's the through ball. It's on a plate. Has a goal! Goal! And the Rocco score first.
The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. Morocco break the deadlock. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Hoists it forward. It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Chance to break. And we reach half time. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Morocco come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. There's the start of the second half. Morocco going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. say that was an exemplary tackle stopped him dead in his tracks Buffal and it's Buffal well the crowd clearly like what they just saw some real no-nonsense defending good idea just poorly executed to get it forward quickly. Jeffrey Kondogbia. And they win it back again. Hoists it forward. Buffal. Tried to play it through. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. A heavy challenge. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Goes for goal! It's a goal! And with that goal comes comfort! given such an open invitation he was always going to shoot well it's pretty damning on the part of that defense peter that he was allowed so much time and space but i think you have to give credit where it's due and it was a brilliant setup and finish Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. So that's two now without reply. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established.
Now it's Buffal. That is terrific skill. Shakes for an overhead. Big relief. It just needed better contact. He trapped it expertly, Peter, and released it very differently. There's going to be another change here. Well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Referee's given a throw. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Zayek. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? Cuts it out. Gets it upfield. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. That. That's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Morocco take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. This is gone, that's a foul. And he is going into that little black book. Well, sometimes a loose foul can trigger a completely different spell of play, and uh, it makes even less sense. Zayek, into the last five minutes. And back to base. Keeper's got good distance on that. Battles to win it back. And that's that. Morocco winners of a no contest. They just swamped their opponents in superior quality. Can you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim?